assay cap sheets. Mulehide assay cap sheets are designed to be the weathering surface of our self-adhering modified bitumen systems. Installation temperatures must be 40 degrees and rising for 48 consecutive hours. Mulehide assay cap sheets are available with a true APP or SBS weathering surface with an aggressive pressure and heat activated adhesive on the back. Essay cap sheets are granulated and available in multiple colors. Fire rated sheets are available. All selvage edges on Mulehide Essay cap sheets include the patented seal lap. Each seal lap contains a factory applied treatment that enhances initial green strength of the seam until the system can fully cure after passing through three thermal cycles. All seal lap seams are protected by a removable release liner. All Mulehide SA cap sheets are manufactured with granule free end laps, called fast laps. Fast laps reduce labor by eliminating the need for mod bit adhesive or hot air welding. Each fast lap is protected by a removable release liner. Good roofing practice discourages direct application to a wood roof deck. Mulehide recommends installing nail base first over a wood deck. If installing an SA cap sheet directly to plywood or OSB, all joints in the deck must be taped to prevent the joint from telegraphing through the sheet. Standard duct tape is acceptable. Before installing SA cap sheet, all perimeter edge metal and required SA base sheets should be installed. Starting in the low point of the roof, set the first roll of SA cap sheet to the edge of the roof if drip edge is installed. If the low point of the roof is at a roof drain, center the roof drain in the middle of the first sheet. If the SA cap sheet ends or starts at a wall, the cap sheet must be turned up the wall 4 inches. Apply pressure to the top side of the roll to keep it in place and then fold over the bottom half of the sheet. Starting at one end, pull the release liner off of the sheet at a 90 degree angle. Use continual motion when pulling the release liner. If you stop, give a couple short tugs to begin peeling again. This will help to prevent the release liner from tearing. Carefully plop the bottom half of the sheet back down over the substrate and apply pressure to adhere the sheet. When done with the downslope side, repeat the process on the other side. Grab the corner of the remaining release liner and pull it at a 45 degree angle from the sheet. Align successive rolls of SA cap sheet lining up the bottom edge of the sheet with the selvage edge. Be sure to completely cover the entire selvage edge. Remove the release liners as before and continue until the roof area is covered. Do not remove the release liner from the seams at this time. End laps must be a minimum of 6 inches wide and staggered a minimum of 36 inches. Trim the upper corner at the end lap at a 45 degree angle. Carefully peel the fast lap release liner at a 45 degree angle from the seam. Use hand pressure to mate the seam together, then roll with a 2 inch roller to ensure proper adhesion. Remove the release liner at a 45 degree angle. Using hand pressure, mate the sheets together to set the seam. Once the release liner has been removed, roll the entire seam with a 2 inch roller to ensure a proper bond. Seal lap seams may also be hot air welded. Roll each layer of SA cap sheet with a minimum 75 pound roller to activate the adhesive and ensure a proper bond. Start in the center of each sheet and roll out to remove any air and to prevent wrinkles. Things to remember. All seal lap seams must be a minimum of 3 inches wide. Remember to remove the fast lap release liner prior to rolling the cap sheet. All end laps must be a minimum of 6 inches wide and staggered a minimum of 36 inches. Trim the corners of the top sheet at all end laps to ease the transition. <laughs>